Hello, beautiful people. Jerisha Hawk here, your favorite millennial mentor and founder of the Goal Getter Group. Today, I want to chat with you guys a bit about um, the hustle being real and why it is so real. Because I'm noticing a lot of us out here who we talk about what we want, we talk about the things we want to accomplish, um, but we don't, we really don't deserve or nor have we earned the things that we said that we want in our lives. Um, I was watching a video by Gary V earlier and then watching a short video about from Simon Sinek talking about like why about millennials and how we have this desire that because we want something we expect that we should get it and really how this our millennial generation is just made up and just how we process how we think things through how we are you know really addicted to personal development um, and have this strong desire to create impact and to create this massive change, which is all great stuff, but we are so impatient that like if we, you know, get a new job and eight months in, if we're not having this like life changing or world altering impact, we're ready to quit. And it's like, hold on, bro. Like you only been here, you know, six, seven months. Like you got to put in the time to really find that joy and find that love and to, to discover that true passion that you have um, and to really reap the rewards of it. It's not going to happen overnight. And when I think about that, I start thinking about the individuals who want to start a business or people who um, are trying to, you know, in a similar boat, similar boat as me right now, working a nine to five, building a business on the side, um, and I just think it's really a true statement when people say your work ethic writes your paycheck because it definitely does. People, you know, I think all this noise is going on around here, how to make six figures in six months, how to become a millionaire, how to have 10K, you know, months running your own business. But they're not showing you the hustle, the grind and the hard work that went into it to make that happen. They're not telling you the full story that they've been building their business for six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. And then they had their first 10K month. And then they made their first six figures. But they're not showing you that. They're only popping up online and on Facebook and on Instagram um, with the pretty pictures, them traveling across the the country driving these luxury cars but they're not showing you like the long nights the early mornings the consistent hustle um and all the failures they had along the way so i think a lot of us have this you know just this false sense of reality around what's going on and really what's required for us to have that dream life and to have that dream job and for us to to build our own businesses and to have that freedom and flexibility um, for us to dictate our schedules based off of building our own business. And so I just want to let you guys know that the hustle is real. Like somebody even asked me the other day, I know I posted this, um, like, Jay, do you ever take a day off? And I'm like, no, I'm in a pursuit of personal excellence day in and day out. Like the hawk hustle is not a, a fad. It's not something I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Like it's a lifestyle. Um, cause I am, Aiming and shooting for a life of personal excellence, me living and operating in my personal best. And, you know, that's not me comparing myself to everybody else out there who's, you know, making six figures or seven figures or all the other female entrepreneurs who are in my lane uh, doing business coaching and like in inspiring and motivating and all that stuff. I'm just trying to be the best Jerisha Hawk that Jerisha Hawk can be. And that to me is like, that's what the hot hustle is all about is personal excellence. You being your absolute best, putting yourself in a position to thrive and to win and to do well. Um, and just striving to be your best every single day. Like that's what it's all about. And sometimes your personal best on a certain day, um, it, you know, is you resting like that's your personal best that day. You know, I'm just saying like, th there's no, I just think we have this false sense of reality and we all need to realize that our work ethic will write our paycheck. For the, those of us who are out there saying, I want this business, I want to be able to afford to go here, I want to be able to afford to go there, I want to live this luxury lifestyle, I just want us to have a like keep it real moment. Have you really earned that paycheck that you sit here and say that you want to have? Whether that be within your job and you want to get that promotion, have you really earned it? And not only have you earned it, like, do you deserve it? Like, have you really put in the work 
to get that benefit. Like so many of us, even from a corporate perspective, um, want to be a VP, want to be the CEO. And it's like, just because you dope in your job right now does not mean you are VP or CEO quality, nor does it mean you've earned that right to have that title and to collect that paycheck because there's a lot of responsibility that comes with having and operating at that level of leadership. Like, are you really ready for that? And have you really earned that? Do you really deserve that? So I just want us to like marinate on that. Um, you know, it's a new year. All of us are in this new year, new us phase right now. It's time that we are, a lot of us are recalibrating, doing self-evaluation, reflecting a bit. I just want us all to take the time to reflect on that also and to really be transparent and honest with ourselves when we say that we want certain things in our life. I just want us to ask and take a moment, like have the things that we're asking for and the things that we are upset that we have not yet achieved, just take a moment and be real with yourself. Like, have you really earned it? Do you really deserve it? Because I do believe that we all are entitled to a life of high quality. We're all entitled to a life of abundance. Um, but with that entitlement that God, we are all God's children with that entitlement means that we need to put in work that our actions need to match, um, the blessings that he's trying to give us as well. So we can actually truly reap the benefits. Like we have to move and we have to, to put forth action. We need to get rid of our negative habits that are holding us back. We need to really invest in leadership and mentorship so we can have other people bestow their wisdom wisdom and expertise on us so we can be better. Um, we need to be surrounded in community so we have that support system so we can have others to lean on but others have the opportunity to lean on us and grow from us. Um, all that stuff is really important. So I just say all that, like I said, I just want us all to take a moment that if we are getting hard on ourselves right now because we haven't achieved the level of success that we want or we haven't, um, you know, made the dollar amount that we've always wanted, just to take the moment to ask ourselves, have we earned it and do we deserve it? And is your work ethic right now matching the paycheck that you desire to have in your life? Just think about that. Think about that. Um, think about that. <laughs> And for those of you who are looking for community, I would love for you to join the free accountability group that we have within our Goal Getter community. Um, all you have to do is just click the link in the title of this description and um, you can join our group for free. So head on over and do that. Join us so we can support you along your journey to success and on your personal pursuit of excellence. And be a little bit, just be honest and transparent with yourself, guys. Like, the things you say you want, um, have you really earned it? Practice patience. The it's enjoy the journey because um, it is coming. It is coming, but we need to keep it real. Your work ethic does write your paycheck, and does your work ethic match the paycheck that you wished and desire and hope for in your life? Think about it. Remember what Jerusha said. I'll holla at y'all later. Bye.